Okay, so today I'm going to be juicing and I am doing a recipe where uh, green apple, cucumber, kale, and underneath I have carrots and a, I don't know if you can see this, a piece of ginger. Okay, so I'm going to juice all that today uh, in my Breville uh, juicer. So with the greens, we want to go with a lower speed. So this Breville actually has a, a high and low speed. The low speed is for the kale and the high speed are more for like the apples and the carrots and the harder type of produce. So let's give this a shot. So just give me one minute to get it all set up. Okay, so we're ready to juice here and I'm going to go with the cucumber first. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the kale first. Get that out of the way. So you want to go with the low setting? Get that nice and warmed up. So I used one bunch of kale, and one bunch of kale didn't actually yield that much juice. Um, if you, the auger juicers are always better for uh, leafy greens, but with all this produce I had here, I got a yield of about 500 mil, okay, give or take. So um, if you have any questions, comments, post them below, and stay tuned for more recipes. Okay, so here is the juice. All, I'm out, I've just finished cleaning up there. So. Uh, this is the froth separator container, and we can see how it separates the froth. Just get clear juice from it, which is great. And taste test wise, it's actually quite good. Um, you taste the uh, hint of ginger that goes in with it, and uh, you don't really taste the, the kale or anything like that. Uh, you do taste a little bit of cucumber. Um, aroma to it. Other than that, there's a slight sweetness from the carrots. So definitely check it out and if you have any questions, comments, post them below.